warrior by French Secret Service agents and to pay tribute to Fernando Pereira, who died in the explosion. Fernando would be proud to see what's happening today. Fernando would be proud to see the Rainbow Warrior being arrested at Mururoa on this very day. Something that violated New Zealand's sovereignty 10 years ago has come back, as it were, to haunt us. Both Australia and New Zealand believe the incident at Mururoa will further damage France's international image and help to increase the pressure against the nuclear tests. Laurie Wilson reporting for Nightline. And we've just had word from Muroa that the Rainbow Warrior is being towed out to sea by the French Navy at this stage. Well, after the break, the rest of the day's news, including unravelling the shootout that left two policemen dead and new research into reducing the risks of melanoma. More great ideas on our house. See how to protect your home from dust mites. An inexpensive upgrade for that old cladding. And a portable play mat for the kids. It's simple enough to make it home. Plus the home renovator's dream, Wednesday, 7.30 on 9. Thank you. Thanks again. Morning. Hello. I made it 6.25 to Brisbane. It's morning now. But I think we can sneak you on, Mr Barry. Will that miss it? No one can miss that, sir. We'll do our best. Gate three. Thank you. Have a great flight. Excuse me, please. Thank you. Bye, three, mate. Give yourself a break and get breakfast in a flash at McDonald's. This is where we live. This is where we work. Uh, the family room. The marketing department. This is the conference room table. This is the finance department. The uh, executive bathroom. The mail room. Administration, advertising, faxes, windows files. Coffee. This is our Mac. This is our whole company. Lawrence and Associates. Uh, she's in a meeting. New South Wales Premier Bob Carr has raised the prospect of tougher gun controls, asking the state's coroner to find out if laws need to be tightened following the shooting murder of two policemen. The former girlfriend of John McGowan, who killed himself after shooting the officers, says she blames herself for the deaths. This is the man who shot dead two police officers and then himself. John McGowan, whose rampage yesterday is believed to have been triggered by a broken relationship. I think he was a nice man. I don't know why he didn't. Miss Manette blames herself for the tragedy. It was her call to police claiming McGowan had threatened her life, which sent the officers on their fateful job. I feel very responsible for them because um, it was my problem and I'm so shocked and so sad that it was them. Constable Bob Spears was his first victim. The officer fired two shots before being gunned down. Constable Peter Addison emptied his service revolver and was reloading when he was hit. Today, the flag at Kempsey Police Station flew at half-mast, condolences flooding in from around the country. The tragedy has brought renewed calls for the establishment of a national gun register so police can be better prepared. The funerals for the two officers will be held with full police honours. A service will take place in Port Macquarie on Thursday for Constable Addison Constable Spears will be buried in Sydney on Friday. Damien Ryan for Nightline. The Queensland election campaign is in its final week, with a Labour victory looking a little more shaky. In Cape York, the disgruntled graziers protested over plans for a new wilderness park. 
as the latest Morgan poll showed Labour losing 1.5% with the coalition picking it up. Perhaps more worrying for the Goss government, though, is that 7% of Labour supporters intend changing their vote. Health Minister Carmen Lawrence has lost her bid to stop a West Australian Royal Commission investigating the so-called Eastern Affair. Dr Lawrence wanted the inquiry delayed pending a legal challenge to the validity of the Commission. The Commission is investigating the tabling of a petition in the West Australian Parliament three years ago when Dr Lawrence was Premier. Lawyer Penny Easton, who was the subject of allegations in the petition, committed suicide four days after it was tabled.